Hello everyone, Ground back here. It's been a while. I apologize for that. I really do. And I'm sure you guys are wondering where I've been. I'm just going to start off by saying I am not in any trouble. I don't, I haven't shoveled for anything physically, and I'm not depressed. But it has been kind of rough for me. And if you just want a TLDR, I've just been... I kind of gave up, I guess you can say. I'll explain all that in a little bit. So sit back while I just play a game of Gen 1 Ubers as I... Just go over how things have been for me for like the past few weeks. And I know three weeks isn't really that bad. I... it's... It's really not. It, 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 but it feels like forever. And I feel bad because as far as I'm concerned, I feel like I have no excuse to not be making videos for you guys. But with the constant te technical issues that I'm always suffering from, along with like poor, poor performances, as well as just feeling like I'm kind of trapped, I, I guess I kind of gave up, and I felt like there wasn't much I can do. So, I guess I'll start off with just, like, low performance, because, I, I don't know, like, I, I might, I've always dreamed of being a YouTuber my entire life, and I mean, like, literally my entire life, like, ever since I was a first grader and I first discovered YouTube, I always thought it was so cool. It always had, like, little daydreams about, like, what I would do. So, I was obviously very surprised and very thankful when the wedded videos started doing well. And I still am. But since I've always changed about this being my job, I've always tried to think about it long term. I see a lot of different PokeTubers and, like, YukiTubers. As well as other people like MadPad, who eventually, you know, retire. And I always figured if I wanted to do this for, like, the rest of my life, I needed to be... I need to play it carefully, I guess you can say. I didn't think I should... How do I say this? Even though I like What If videos, and I haven't been burnt out in making them... I already know long term, it's not really something I can do for like, like the rest of my life, I guess you can say. But that in itself is part of the reason why I don't like talking about it. Because even though I dream of being a YouTuber, I also feel like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like a bit of a, feel like a bum to wanting to make that like a, a dream job. I feel like... By me doing that. I don't know. I guess it kind of just feels like cheating in my eyes. Which I know like isn't really. Okay, deep down I know it's I know it's not true. I know that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to pursue that as a. Potential career. But I just. I just can't help but feel like. I just can't help but. How do I say this? It's kind of hard for me to really. Put this in the words. I'm really bad at communicating with people when I'm kind of going through something. I guess it's just because, like, when I see how people do IRL, when it comes to, like, people I knew back in high school or my family or people in other communities, I, I feel like I should be doing something more with my life. And I know that's, pro I know that's not true. Or obviously it is true. But I know that I'm not doing anything wrong. I wanted to pursue this. And while it may not be a very realistic goal, everyone has their dreams. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with trying to follow that. But is it really living the dream if I'm just making very obscure what if videos for the rest of my life? I don't think so. I think. I think I need to have something that's more flexible. Now, Pokemon just on its own 
maybe I can do that. Pokemon is a very big franchise, a very versatile franchise, so it's definitely possible that I could be found with that alone. But I needed to do some tests first. So that's why, along with the what if videos, the most common step after that would have just been making videos based off of, or not videos, like hosting tournaments based off the what if videos I make. If you watch my what if videos and you're interested, Obviously, if you had the chance to play, I figured people would like to play that. And in some ways, that is what happened. My server has become so active, and it's because of Generation Jumble. I went from it being a private server with only a few people, I think like 50 at, at its height, to almost 200. Because people do seem to really like the format that like, I, I host. And obviously, I met a lot of good friends, and we have the council. But view-wise, they do absolutely terribly. Videos on what if, like scenarios, will probably be around 300 to 1,000 on average. Generation Jumble videos are lucky if they get even like 100 views in just like two days. And it's not so much the videos and subs doing bad, that's the issue. Because even with the videos, I do get comments, I do have people who are very invested, even those that aren't necessarily playing. But it's just my brain thinking long term again. This is something that's as close to the what if videos as possible, and people don't really seem to care about it. So I just can't help but feel like, okay, if that's the case, then would these people care if I tried to make a video that's completely different? If I wanted to do something else because I felt burnt out, would my community care? And oftentimes I feel like they probably wouldn't, outside the ones who are in the server who are pre pretty loyal. So that's one other reason why I lost a bit of motivation. Because I felt like, no matter how well the wedded videos do, they don't really grow my channel that much. It's been, I think... Going on 5 months since I got to 1,000 subscribers. And since then, I have even got another 100. The view count's honestly not that bad. But... It, I, it doesn't really grow. And if I'm not growing, then like, how exactly like, can the channel really expand? And I got monetized, but... <clears throat> uh, even though like the view's doing better, and with just decent watch time... I have not even made $100 yet, and even with that, the YouTube AdSense is just so hard to work with. Like, I don't even know what's wrong, but like, it, 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 it's just being so difficult and not really letting me add my bank account information. So that this, that this part is really annoying, and you can talk to my brother Convex, he's been with me as we tried to work through it. We have walk, looked through different just tutorials on how to like mess with it, and some of the buttons that we've seen in the YouTube tutorials are just not there for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and another reason why YouTube's pretty hard for me is the fact that I'm truly just alone with this. I have very often have like vented and talked in the, both the server and in DMs or in group channels or group chats with friends or fans. Talking about like issues such as the audio issues or with my brother with AdSense, stuff like that. And very often people don't know how to help me. When I was suffering from audio problems, I tried venting to like my other friends and the council members, and none of them really had any good ideas on how to help. Which, like, it's not their fault. I don't blame them for that. But it does. It, it does make me feel like I just have a hard time, like, progressing, I guess you can say. My videos still aren't edited, and they're doing well, but I I don't think the videos I make are very good, if I'm being honest with you. But I do appreciate the support you guys give me. But I really do wish I can give you better. But I am just, like, I'm just horrible with technology. It's not even funny. And if I... 
And if I don't really know what to do, if I have like a technical issue, then how can I really expect myself to like make something more worthwhile? I've also wanted to do streaming, and I'm pretty sure if you go on my server, if you look at announcements, you will see the unlisted VOD that I tried working on with my brother. And it's if you just if you're curious at just how good it is so far, it's laggy. Very, very laggy. And I and I wanna work on it more, but I also feel like if I had to guess. Like, like I already said before, my laptop is just very weak. So I feel like even after some, like, tinkering, it probably won't... Like, I, I, I'm assuming that streaming will always just be lagging no matter what. Which I consider a big problem, since I feel like that's one of the main ways I could expand, but I can't really. I think I'm just, like, yapping on at this point, but a lot of this is stuff that I've just been... I'm keeping it for a while. And the, I don't really know who to talk to with any of this. I don't have any content creator friends, unfortunately. So, whenever I try to ask for advice, like, I don't even know who I would ask. And I don't want to, like, just, like, randomly reach out to people. I would feel like I'll be just kind of weird. And I know you're probably, like, wondering, like, if I can just get a new laptop, and I'd like to eventually, but it's hard, I just don't have the money for that at the moment. I I'm sure there's some ways I can still expand, but I just feel like, like, I really don't know. I really don't know what the future holds for this channel. I'm still going to try my best, and after this video, I am going to go back to daily what if videos. And hopefully, like, you guys will enjoy that. And hopefully, you don't mind just how long I've been gone for. But. Like, it's. I could have made this video a while ago. Because I wasn't, I wasn't intending to, like, be gone for this long. It was just supposed to be just a day of taking a day off after Generation Jumbo uh, finale. But then each day, I. Kept on like procrastinating. And then I did something that I think told me a lot, but also made me very insecure. I started spending time in another creator's community. And through that, not only that, just managed to see a streamer who I think is very talented. And I took a lot of notes from what they did, which I definitely appreciate. But I also have met a lot of people there. People who are older than me are on the same age, with jobs that are, you know, getting, a, like, an actual monthly income. And I... I... They seem to have it pretty well, well off. And it just makes me wonder if I'm, like, wasting my time with this or not. Because I am 22 years old, which I know isn't really that old, but my parents definitely make me... Feel like I'm I they make me feel like I'm obligated to like make me feel like I should be doing way more right now and maybe they're right but I really really want to do YouTube as a full one I, I, wa I want to make this like my life and I can't really do that without your guys' support and I feel like even though people enjoy my videos I just I, I I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Now, granted, like through that community, I have managed to. There's a lot of things that I took notes of, and a lot of things that I. Oh, what's it called? Like I'm gonna try to like replicate here with my community. But. But seeing them just made me, like, wonder what the future is for my community. Because I do want to change a lot of things with, like, my server. Because if you've been on my server, you guys know that we're very mean-spirited. But, like, it's never, like, very hostile. 
everyone always does it jokingly. But it did make me wonder who would be comfortable to join here, both when it comes to new members, as well as if I wanted to collab. If I wanted to collab with somebody, like, would they be comfortable being in a server where everyone's being mean? I'd imagine probably not. And with my low-quality, unedited videos, and with me, like, always having, like, audio problems, both with, like, videos as well as with Discord, because anyone who's ever, like, talked to me in my server knows that after a bit of time, I would just start glitching out. And, you know, I leave the VC and rejoin. I don't want to inconvenience anybody, so I've never, like, tried to reach out for anybody for a collab. And I know that's one of the big ways to really expand, but I just... I just feel like the content I make is not very deserving of that. And that might just be me being insecure and dumb. I think I probably shouldn't really be thinking like that. So maybe I should try to reach out, but I, I'm i not sh I I don't know. I... So I guess now I, I, you guys are probably just wondering, what am I going to do? Because I have thought a lot about my plans for the future. And I do plan on... I 100% plan on getting a job. Which I've just been, like, waiting on for so long. Hoping that maybe, just maybe, YouTube could be able to support me. But that probably isn't the case, so I'm just going to start working just for a plan B. And if not for a plan B, just so that I can actually get money to afford things like a new computer and stuff like that. So that's one way I'm going to try my best to improve. But along with that, I, I, I've always dreaded doing this. And I know I shouldn't have, like I know there's something wrong with this. But I finally opened up a Patreon. It's in the description, and it'll be in the description for all of my videos from now on. And, like, the reason why I've never had one up sooner is because, like I said, my videos, I do not have, like, they're not edited, and as far as I'm concerned, I think my videos are just full on low quality, which might just me might might just be me being like mean to myself. But I never felt like the videos I made were deserving of people's like money. But at this point, I I, I feel like I probably should just open it because like what's really the worst that can happen? I I think I'm just being too. I, I'm I'm sorry again that I keep like struggling on words, but I, I I I just feel it just feels weird. It feels really weird. Uh, but like I'm trying my best to have like the rewards be like worthwhile. So for just so I have it like in like with different tiers. So the actual Patreon tiers are based off the Gen One tiers. So for NU. You will have like personal updates from me. For you, you you can like uh, I'll set up polls, and once a month you guys can like decide on videos. For OU, you can be able to get your own video, your own what if Gen One video, and I'll even like uh, give you a shout out during that video. And for all of them, I give shout outs at the end. But like you specifically, I'll say that they're the reason they made this video. And for Ubers, it'll be any what if video for any tier. It'll obviously change if I ever do find success with a different type of content. But I do not know if that's going to happen in, in the distant or far future or not. I'm going to assume no. So for the time being, I'm still going to try to just grow mostly with what if videos. But I do plan on releasing my own podcast series called ADHD Ramblings. I would also like to one day work on a series called Our Bastion of Chaos. That's actually a podcast series that I've thought of way before I ever made What If videos. Or before I even started making videos on the channel. It... 
it's something that I've always dreamed of because with my friends, we end up being pretty chaotic. But I want to wait until I actually have with good content that I feel like I feel like other people can like come to and not be like ashamed of. Because I always figured the main way for me to like considering the videos I make are already like pretty like just unscripted ramblings. I always figured that uh what's it called? I always figured that the best way for me to be a YouTuber and to continue like being a YouTuber without being burnt out would be podcasts. Because I always figure with podcasts, I would be free to basically talk about whatever I want. So I feel like it's just a low chance of me suffering from burnout. And... But I also figured, like like I said before, collabs are very important. Also, I'm just going to forfeit that way. I can just focus solely on talking to you guys. Our Bastion of Chaos... I feel like my like, co-ops are obviously the best way to grow. But like I said before, I really feel like these unedited like videos, unscripted videos as well, mind you. I just I just I just feel like I'd be embarrassed just comparing myself to the other creators. And I do and I already do that right now. I really don't feel like I deserve the support that I've gotten. And I wanna sort of prove myself before reaching out and having other people feel like they can, you know, like, be here and, like, talk with me. And that's what I would love to do if I can do anything. I would love to just have, like, an Arbastion of Chaos where I can just reach out to a creator, talk with them. We can talk about our experiences. Like, maybe, like, move to something stupid. But since I feel like something like that would require really good editing, as well as just, I feel, much more high-quality thumbnails than what I usually make, I'm going to save that for later. So for now, I'm going to keep doing what if videos, and I'm still going to do Generation Jumble, since those are just a good way to, like, you know, boost the server, as well as the fact that I just really enjoy council meetings. And council meetings themselves are already just podcasts where I just get unhinged with my friends. So those aren't going to go anywhere. But as you saw in season three, they'll probably be less likely, or just less frequent. I'm probably gonna be more likely to just do upload highlight videos rather than like live reactions. But even then, those take a lot of effort, and again, they don't do that well. So even though they're mandatory, they it's always gonna feel a little demotivating. And I did make that community post a while ago asking you guys what I can do to help improve and to you know make you guys want to watch Generation Jumble videos. And of course, a lot of you guys said you just either don't care, you only care about what if videos, or you only care about using me as background noise. And that's another reason why I'm trying to move the podcast. So, I don't know when the first episode of ADHD Ramblings will be. It will literally just be me with some friends just being unhinged, talking about whatever the hell I want. But if you can support that, it really would mean the world to me. Because I love YouTube. And I love you guys. I'm grateful for everything you've done. But I wanna I wanna do I wanna do better. Both for you and myself. But I just don't have the resources to do that right now. I can only do it with your support. Obviously, I'm never gonna like demand or as or even now, I don't even really feel that comfortable asking for you guys to support on Patreon. But it's the only way to like really support me to where I can feel like maybe this can be taken more seriously. Same with my parents. Like, they're not, like, saying no. And they're not saying, like, you can't, you shouldn't be doing this. But I think they're mostly just neutral on it. With enough support, and if they saw that I w I'm actually, like, getting, like, decent money, I do feel like they'll be more lenient to help me. And help me with, like, better projects, a better working space, maybe, like, I don't know, like, uh, my parents are, like, my parents are nice, like, don't get me wrong. It, it feels weird talking about this, so. <laughs> I should probably just stop recording now. This has been very all over the place, I think. And I feel like I'm doing a horrible job explaining how I actually feel. It isn't confirmed, but 
everyone, both my family, my friends, my teachers back in grade school, my doctors, even me personally, everyone thinks I have autism. And while well, not officially diagnosed, I, I mean, like, you're hearing me talk right now. And if you've ever been friends with me, you can probably agree. So I really apologize. I apologize for not being able to properly communicate with you. I'm sorry for not uploading as much, especially when, as you can probably hear, it's more so just sounds like just me, like, being very pouty, suffering from fourth world problems. There are other people in the world who are suffering way more than me. There's, like, two, like, um, like, major wars going on. Obviously, a lot of people are struggling with, like, food and shelter. So, I feel like I just have no reason to really be feeling the way I do. But every, every single time I talk about these things, people always try to be nice to me. I don't feel like I deserve it, but it, you guys really do help me out more than you ever realize. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to go back to uploading regularly. Going to upload some what-if videos. I'm going to try to find a chance to do the viability rankings for Generation Jumbo Season 3. Because we still haven't done that. And I'll keep you guys in, I'll just keep you guys updated on when I'll start ADHD ramblings. I'll probably make a lot of YouTube community posts so you guys don't forget. But please, once that video gets up and I start that new series, please just, please just give it a watch. Please just, it, it, it would mean the world to me. And if I can, like, do more podcasts, that would, I would love that so much. But I really do need your support for my channel to grow. But until then, thank you for watching this horribly made video. <laughs> And I look forward to hearing from you. I love you guys.